Hi Scorpio and welcome to your general love reading for July 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general reading so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. If you would like though you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Also do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see, what is going on between you and another person for July 2022? Let's see, for the situation, we have the Page of Swords crossed by the Magician. Already two of the same cards that were out for uh, Cancer. All right, um, I feel like there is communication here, or somebody wanting to communicate at least, and the whole challenge is to actually bring that to reality, to actually manifest that. Um, but it's like lurking right there in the air, um, wanting to communicate. Maybe if you already are in contact, this might be in terms of wanting to communicate more or wanting to communicate more clearly or express something that is not being expressed. Um, whatever the case is, that's the challenge here, is to really make that happen. Could be you or it could be them. Um, for your energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Lovers. Okay, so Gemini is also um, showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. I also see Aries so far. Um, you're, I feel like, you know, you're, you're doing okay. Like, you're feeling pretty good about yourself um, for the most part. Um, I feel like you've worked a lot on either detaching from this or just being more independent or just feeling a higher sense of self-worth, but it feels like it's it might still be a little bit of a struggle for you, but like sometimes, like maybe there are some triggers where you're like, wait, back to this again. All right, I'm going to get through it. And it feels like you are, you know, you are you are getting through it. And because of that, it's moving you towards towards love. Um, let's see for them. We have the Three of Wands, the Tower, and the Two of Cups. Oh, how cute. The Two of Cups right under your lover's card. Yeah, it feels like, you know, maybe this person is holding back a little bit or just waiting. I do see that they see you in their future, but there's also something about the future that freaks the hell out of them. Um something's going on here. I feel like there's some kind of trigger, something happens where, you know, they get into some kind of like a fear mode and then that's when you get triggered and then you're like, oh, I'm back to this again. And it, it stems from something that they trigger in you. But it's like, whatever this is, all that's happening, it's moving both of you towards love. I mean, look at this, the lovers and the two of cups. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the six of pentacles. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, moving towards balance, moving towards equal reciprocity in terms of giving and taking. So let's uh, see. <clears throat> let's clarify this, Scorpio. Let's see that page of a sword with the magician. All right, and we have Temperance, the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Wands, okay. Nine of Wands showing up a second time. We also have Sagittarius on the table. Somebody's been really, really patient here is what I'm getting. Really, really patient, just waiting for this Nine of Cups to come in. Um, pushing through, it just feels like a challenge. It feels like this ongoing, never-ending challenge to get to that emotional fulfillment. And I'm getting that it really has to do with somebody holding back in terms of either communicating or expressing themselves, expressing their truth. Um, so that's what the situation is. Um, let's see the Nine of Pentacles for your energy. But I feel like I feel like you're getting through it though. That's that's the thing. I feel like you're both working through whatever issues it is that you each need to work through in order to move towards this. Because that ending is really, really beautiful there. So let's see. Nine of Pentacles. And we have strength. Okay, so Leo. And the ace 
of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, Scorpio, the message is very clear here for you. The more that you work on your sense of self-worth um, and your own strength, the more that the path opens up for you and helps you to move through your triggers and through your challenges in order to get to a place of love. All right, whether it be with this connection or whether it just be in general, I do feel like it's with this connection. All right, um, so yeah, you know, keep, you know, stay strong, basically. Stay strong through this. Um, don't compromise your integrity. Follow your intuition, basically, um, especially in terms of your own sense of self-worth and what you deserve. All right, let's see, Nine of Wands. And we have the High Priestess as well as Death. There's a lot of wisdom here that you are gaining. I feel like, you know, and like I said, follow your intuition. I feel like that's what you're doing. And I feel like this is, um, you know, just encouragement for you to do so even more, you know, or, you know, to not doubt your intuition. That's what's guiding you forward. And that's what's leading to change, right? With death card here, that's your element. This is leading you to staying, standing strong and um, being strong in your own element and in your own qualities and your strengths, finding yourself. So yes, again, it all comes down to your own sense of self-worth. The more that you're focused on that, and not compromising your integrity, the more that you, the better able you are to get through certain triggers and to keep moving forward and for there to be some kind of a positive shift in whatever this situation is. So good job, Scorpio. So let's see the lovers in your energy here. Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles showing up again, and the Six of Wands. Look at that. Success, victory. Again, this is success and victory in terms of your own sense of self-worth. I'm telling you, the message cannot be more clear. It's like the same thing over and over again. The more that you feel abundant within your own self and feel good about your own self and knowing what it is that you deserve, everything else is just falling into place. Everything else is just going to kind of happen. Like you don't even think about how you need to respond to this person or what kind of effort you need to put in. Like it will all come naturally because you won't be doing it as a means to an end. It will be coming from a place of really you being in that self-worth space, right? So yeah, keep moving in that direction. All right, so let's see with this person, what is going on with them? Three of Wands, please. Why is the Three of Wands here for this person? All right, and we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So this person is thinking about the future with you, as I said before. Um, but they're a little bit wary of it. Like, they're, I see them being overly cautious, and so I feel like they're taking their time, like just moving in that direction. I do feel like there are things in their life, other things that they need to sort. It almost feels like they need to have some kind of a stable plan. And because of that, um, it feels like they are procrastinating. It feels like this is dragging on and on. As I said in the very beginning, I feel like you have been very, very patient. And that's okay um, to a certain extent, as long as it's not compromising your integrity, again. So you're gonna have to be the judge of that because everybody's situation is different. So maybe there are just different little aspects, right, in this connection where, hey, you know, that isn't fair and I shouldn't react in this way to it, you know, I shouldn't give too much or, I don't know, whatever the case is for you. You know, don't accept anything that is less than what you deserve. Um, and I'm not saying that the patience has been a bad thing because I feel like through this patience, though, you have learned, you have learned a lot about yourself um, as well as you know, about either relationships or connections, love overall. Um, but it does feel like this person has been um, waiting a little bit and taking their time. However, there is work that is being done beneath the surface here with that Knight and Page of Pentacles. Let's see the tower for them. The 
Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Well, there you are again, um, showing up in their energy. Yeah, they trigger you. Um, they're definitely triggering you. This is somebody who definitely wants to have this Ten of Cups with you, okay, which is love and fulfillment and happiness and, you know, all of that good stuff. Um, they definitely have love for you. I feel like, um, I think this is very similar to Cancer. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with a Cancer, even though we didn't have much Cancer show up here. Um, I feel like this person is almost like afraid of, of having happiness or possibly afraid of um, the connection because their emotions are just so, so deep. And so certain things that come off in their communication towards you could be triggering or maybe in the lack of communication. I feel like they're going through their own triggers as well, um, but not so much from you. It's like it's coming from within their own self. It's coming from within their own self, and so then it's like it's um, externalized, and because it's externalized in some way, it affects you. But again, like I said, you're doing a good job moving through that. Let's see the Two of Cups. The Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords. Hmm. It definitely feels like they're coming in. Um, they're coming in emotionally with love, like wanting this, you know, wanting to move towards that Ten of Cups. But there's, again, they have a fear of pain. There's a fear of pain attached to this. Um, and it could be for whatever reason, you know, it could be like some kind of a childhood wound or a trauma, but there's a fear of, of pain here for this person. Um, but the energy is definitely there. I definitely see them either coming in or really wanting to come in. I do feel like they will be manifesting that. Maybe it might still be a little bit cautiously, all right, because they have a fear of getting hurt. Um, but definitely that energy is here and definitely that love is here between the both of you. So I do think I do see things getting better. But again, it's really coming from your own sense of self-worth, right? Like that's what's the most important message here, your sense of self-worth. And, you know, let them do their thing like they're figuring out their thing for you. It's it's self-worth. All right, so let's see that Six of Pentacles for the potential outcome for Scorpio, please. Six of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the King of Cups. Yeah, we have both the King and the Queen of Cups out. Um, it... Yeah, you are moving towards a sense of balance. I feel like the two of you are aligning in in some way. It might still take a little bit of time before it is like 100% like complete. But I do see the both of you like detaching from whatever it is that was holding you back. I feel you are detaching, they are detaching as well from, I feel like for them it's from their own fears, right? From that stagnation and from that holding back of whatever it is that they are um, afraid or resistant to um, verbalizing here towards you. All right, now, and all of that is moving towards a lot of emotional stability. It's just, yeah, it's taking a little bit of time, not too much, not too much, but just a little bit. Um, but I feel like there's a steady progression. There is a steady progression, so you will see improvement in this area. So yeah, Scorpio, if this resonated, please give me a like and let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have solitude. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's a major lesson here for you is learning to be okay with your own self, learning to be independent, right? We got the Nine of Cups twice for you here. Sorry, the Nine of Pentacles, I meant to say, twice for you, which is all about being detached, being independent. So it's like the more that you are okay with your own self, which means that you also have that high sense of self-worth, 
and you are okay with, you know, just being with you, you know, the more that this situation evolves in a positive direction. So, Scorpio, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.